on one of my previous videos on how you can create reports in Google Docs from a Google Sheet, I got this amazing comment. Can this be done in Microsoft Word using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel? So that's what we'll do today. Let's dive right into it and open up these files on our computer. So here you can see I have my Microsoft Word editor open and I have already formatted the example school report. You can see I have a location for the student name, a location for the attainment, the teacher comment, the target. I am not putting any tags manually. Microsoft Word will do that for me later. I also have my Excel sheet. So here you can see my Excel sheet. It has all the information. One thing to note is very important that you have your first row with your headers. So this will be titled student name, reading comments, reading level, reading target. And then just as before, all the information is in your spreadsheet. So here you can see I have my report and my report comment for Sati, for Ron and for Tom. Now I've saved this as an Excel file and I've also saved this report format or template as a Microsoft Word file. Now that means I can get started on creating this merge. The first thing I'll do is connect the two files. Now in Microsoft Word here at the top, you'll see you have home, insert, draw. What you are looking for is the mailings tab. So here under mailings, and then you are going to click on select recipients. This means where are you going to get the information from and how are you merging this? So we're going to click on that. Now you can choose, you can create a new list or use an existing list. Now, mind you, I have my list because what it uses as a list is this Excel file. This will be my list. This is what it will use. I'm going to use this entire document. So let's go ahead and jump in. Select recipients, use an existing list. Go ahead and find your file. I have my demo reports right here and open. The next thing it tells you is, do you trust this file? Make sure that you trust it, that you're the person who's created this. I'm going to click on yes and then I get the next dialog box. Which sheet would you like to use? I'm going to use sheet one, or I can select the entire workbook. I'm going to choose sheet one. And then which cell range? Well, here you can see I go all the way from A1 down to D4. So let's select that. I'm going to type A1 colon D4. That's the range. That's where I want to get my information from. And then I click on OK. OK, it's connected those two files together now. Now, the way you can check that is here at the top, you should see that there is now filter recipients, insert merge fields, and rules highlighted. Previously, this was not clickable. So I'm going to click on insert merge field. But first, I have to choose where I'd like to insert this. So I want to insert my student name here. Click on insert student name. And there we go. That's being inserted. Same for the attainment. Go to that box, insert field, and then reading level. For the comments, we're going to click insert comments. And finally, the target. Click insert merge field and our target. You can see Microsoft Word is creating those tags for me similar to how we had to manually put those tags into our Google Docs. If you want to see it in Google Docs and Google Sheets, make sure you click on the link at the top. But for now, let's continue with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. After you've added in these merge fields, you can preview this and you can see the file. So here you can see preview the results, see how a finished document looks. So let's go ahead and do that. Here at the top, you can see we can preview the results. Let's have a look. We're going to click on this and then it previews the results. This is what that will look like. And I can see the first option. I can go to the next one by clicking on this arrow. This is what the second document will look like. Yeah, Ron, it is all correct. And the third one, Tom, that is all correct. If you're happy with the preview and you would like to export this as a document, Simply click on finish and merge. We're going to click on that. 
And then we can choose, do we want to print these documents or do we want to have editable files for each of these documents? I am going to select edit individual documents. This has now created a merged document with everything I need. You can see here we have Seti with the report comment. I scroll down. We have the second person, Ron, with his comment. And the third, Tom, with the comment. I can now edit this, save it, and then print these reports. I can also attach them or save them as individual files. Now, as I mentioned before, Google Docs and Google Sheets can do this as well. Just make sure you find the link in the description. If your school or colleagues are using Microsoft products, then maybe this video will help them to create those merge documents. I want to say a quick thank you to all our channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for making it possible to create videos such as these each and every week. Now, if you would like to see these videos early and completely ad free, then Patreon is the place to be. Alternatively, you can become a YouTube channel member and support the creation of this content as well as get early access and a couple of additional benefits. Make sure to check out the buttons and links down below in the description or click on join the channel to become a channel member as well. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.